Strange title. You are everything. That's that's something. Like, what does that even mean? I'm going to get into that today because it is pretty powerful stuff, and I think it's going to change your perspective on how you see everything around you and including yourself. That's a pretty bold statement to say you have been all things and you are all things right now. Well, that makes people go, well, what the hell, you weirdo? What are you talking about, right? Yeah, I think so. But let's, we're going to kind of think about this at first of what we are actually made of. Like, what, what are we? You know, we're iron, we're minerals. Like, mineral, what is a mineral? It's a rock. We are water, of course. We all know we're water. We're carbon, we're electricity, we're electromagnetic fields, and we're like a million other things. Literally, it is pretty extraordinary what we actually are. And I like to think of us, like all of us have all these different things inside of us, right? We all have calcium, zinc, copper, magnesium, all of these things the human body has. And we're so much more alike than we are different. But those little slivers of difference can make a big difference. <laughs> and, and why? You know, if we're almost 99% exactly the same as everybody else, well, you know, that little slight difference, you know, some of us are slobs, some of us are go-getters, some of us are really respectful, some of us are asses. You know, I mean, it's... Uh, those little slivers of difference are pretty big, but you definitely can't overlook the obvious. We're almost all exactly the same. It's a pretty unique thing. I really like this. You know, we, we are our neighbors. We almost are an exact mirror of our neighbors, but how many times have we looked over at our neighbors or been to a friend's house and seen their neighbors and like, damn, your neighbors are weird. <laughs> you know? It's... True statement, I've done it, and I know every one of y'all have done it too. There's nobody that has been anywhere and saw a neighbor and went, that, that looked weird, he dressed different from you, you didn't understand what they were, you know, like whatever. Man, that's a weird ass neighbor you have over there. But when you look at that neighbor, everything that is inside that neighbor is also inside of you. Everything, everything. Every material, every trace element, oxygen, energy, water, all of it. And even more importantly, every emotion that weird neighbor has, you've had it too. From the fear, the anxiety, happy, sad, you're indifferent, you're irritated, you want to be wanted. You know, by your spouse, your girlfriend, you know, we all have sexual desires too, right? Your neighbor has all of those, all of those crazy wild emotions that weird neighbor knows exactly the pain and suffering that you have felt too, but you still think they're different and weird. It's an interesting sort of thing. I thought this was great. You know, could we be first cousins to skyscrapers and bridges? Like how ridiculous is that statement? You know, like, like what are you talking about? Well, you can't make steel without iron. And we all have a lot of iron in our bodies. We have to have it. Iron preserves all of our vital functions. It gives, it's what helps create our energy. And we would not be able to focus on anything without iron. We have to have the stuff of steel inside of us. It helps regulate our body's temperature. We are the stuff of skyscrapers. I beams. We are the stuff whenever we live on Louisiana, Texas border. And most of us have drove over the... Uh, Bridges going into downtown Shreveport and that big thing that looks similar to that. We are that. And you think, well, how can that really be? If you can just think about it over the course of eons, those skyscrapers or that rock, it all gets destroyed. It all gets, it all, the earth will overcome everything. Everything gets recycled. Everything that was in you is now in me. It is a weird sort of thing to start to contemplate that you are the stuff of steel. How about this? You're also brothers and sisters to rock. Like the rock, like the gravel down the road. Anytime you see a little kid pick up and throw a rock or you catch a little jackass busting out a window with a rock, you know, that, that rock is a part of you. You think, well, that seems weird. Well, we're, we all have to have trace minerals. We have to have them. And what are trace minerals? They're all 
rock. Like a rock, like a dead to us, a dead thing. And I just pulled up zinc because zinc is kind of pretty and it's so important because not only does zinc, that hard rock, it helps us, it helps prevent uh, our cells from attaching to different uh, diseases, different viruses and colds and all those things. It helps with our cell growth, our tissue healing. The, the dead rock that we think is dead is us. It's a weird thing when you start thinking about, what do you mean, Kevin? This is the weirdest presentation I think you've ever given. We're like skyscrapers, we're like bridges, we're like rocks. But yeah, because we have it all inside of us. We have all of it inside of us. We have so much more than it's inside of us. We have iodine, sulfur, copper, all of those things. We have carbon inside of us. That is what we are. We're like a, when we walk outside and we walk in the dirt or the sand, we are all of those things. We're like a big, like if you can just imagine, we're opening our mouth. Instead of being a, a teenager guzzling beer, you're a, you're a human and you're absorbing and eating everything. It becomes you, then it is no longer you. Every single day, every day, we're just steadily a funnel of cycling all of these rocks and iron and earth all around us. It's a really interesting concept to think about. Whenever you're driving home, look at the electrical lines. Because we have to have copper. Copper is essential for our survival. It makes, it helps make all of our red blood cells. It helps maintain our nerves, our nervous system. Transfers electricity. So we transfer electricity, just like the lines going down the road. All of that electrical power is all inside of us. So not only are we all of these other things, not only are we just some rock, some skyscraper, some piece of iron, we're also all of that electricity that's flowing everywhere. Like, we all are. It's pretty damn cool how complicated and awesome we are. Like, each and every one of us, we are so badass. It's amazing. And we don't realize who and what we actually are because most people never think about it. They just said, you know, their goal for the day, you know, I want to do whatever. Not much thought goes into this uh, life with the vast majority of people. And I think that's going to change over some time. How about the battery in your cell phone? We all have a little lithium inside of us, and most batteries now are lithium. And that doesn't mean you should go out and take a big bite of your lithium battery, because a little bit too much is uh, very toxic. It's pretty toxic, but lithium is unbelievable. It's almost in every water source. It affects the brain in a magical sort of way, and it's stable. It's been known since the 1800s that it stabilizes bipolar issues and tremendously helps focus. That's lithium, it's in the battery. So whenever you're looking at your iPhone or whatever phone and you go, man, I am also this thing too. Like you're literally everything, everything. I think this is pretty remarkable. So whenever you're on your phone or you're charging it, you can think, this is pretty damn cool because lithium was proven, proven a hundred years ago that within less than a week from taking this small amount, just giving your body a tiny bit more, you just decrease the risk of suicide. Like it took it away. It took away depression in less than a week. The stuff that's in your phone is also inside you and it does that. And it's been known for a hundred years. That's pretty damn cool. It's just cool. We're like really cool. <laughs> just, we just are. And this is fascinating. Like we are a walking battery. Did y'all know every one of y'all sitting here, y'all are producing about a hundred watts of energy right now. Like that's what it is. Just sitting down doing nothing. Your body's producing a hundred watts of energy. Even you lazy bastards. <laughs> y'all are still producing energy. All y'all sitting at the home on the couch, blah, you're producing a lot of energy. It's amazing. And what is really amazing is science has been working on taking our electronics and letting them use our bodies as the battery. So like your Apple Watch or your whatever the gadget is or your phone, 
where instead of setting it on the charger, you just put it on your wrist and all of a sudden you have power because that's how much power your body generates. That's a remarkable sort of thing when you really think about it. That's coming, like it's coming. You're gonna be able to grab your phone like this and it's gonna charge itself by you touching it. That's a lot of power inside of you, a lot. And it's so cool, in Stockholm and Sweden, they already use our, our body's power. In the commuter trains, they, they have this system where the human body, we all naturally create heat. So they trap this heat, the heat rises in these little trains, and they have this little contraption, and it heats the water on top, and they funnel it to, this, uh, to the building next door, and they use it for their hot water. It's pretty cool. Like, we could do that in a lot of different ways, and it's fascinating because our potential and our power goes mostly unnoticed because we are too worried about what somebody said on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or am I gonna get uh, lucky tonight or if I'm I pissed off my boss fired me or um, am I going to heaven or hell? I mean, what, whatever the issue that is so beating your brain down and your heart and your soul, you forget how much power you have. And I think we need to reconsider how much power we have in a big way. Have you ever thought about you're actually a twin with a tree? <laughs> this is a fact. You dance with a tree and grass and plants every single breath you take. Every one. As long as you've been sitting here watching me, every time you inhale, you're taking in what that tree right out there just shot out. And what you exhale, you're feeding that tree. You're feeding it. So everywhere you go, we're doing this dance with Mother Earth. Every single second of every day, we are dancing. And we just walk through our life not even thinking about it. Well, that's a nice tree over there. But that tree is keeping you alive. That tree is giving you what was inside of it just moments ago. And you're giving it what it needs all day, every day. That's pretty powerful when you think about it, that you are dancing literally every second with Mother Nature and you don't even think about it. That's amazing to me. It's pretty amazing. I think we should be very grateful and appreciative of those trees and that grass. We have a lot of power. We're also the creator of life. Like literally, you know, we, whether you're married and have kids or out of wedlock or whatever, however you one night stand, whatever it is, we have the power to create life. That is a massive power. We control seeds on this planet. We can have gardens. We can have the orchard down here that's free for everybody that wants to go down there. Speaking of which, we have a ton of pears. I would love for y'all to go down there and take as many pears as y'all want. They probably need to be picked today. So if you want to go down there, great. Uh, that'd be fantastic. And for those of you that are home and you didn't come today, well, you don't have any pears. That's too bad. We are the stewards of Earth. It's a big, 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 big power and a big responsibility. And we're able to harness it. We're able to harness the power of this earth, whether it's from creating energy out of the flows of streams and rivers to our own bodies being batteries, to dancing with trees. It's amazing. And how many of us like to stand and look at the ocean? Like just put your feet in the water. Man, I can feel my feet in the water right now. I just left the Adriatic and the Mediterranean Sea and I just loved it. I could sit there and stare at it and it's mesmerizing. How many of us like going to the beach and just looking at it? Just looking at that body of water. You know, why are we so mesmerized by that? Is it because we're 70% water and we have a ton of salt in us and we would die without it? Like we are that ocean. Like that is us. Everything that has ever lived has used all of these elements that I just discussed over millions and billions of years. Everything that has ever been alive has the same thing that we're using at this moment in our individual bodies. I had in my eighth grade year, whatever they called him, the earth science guy, whatever, whatever his, but he told me, and we were having this discussion about water and cell reproduction. This is not on the presentation, but he just told me that, um, and told the class in, in a kind of a crude way, which is appropriate because it was a Catholic school, uh, that dinosaur penis 
cells were probably on half of our foreheads. True statement though, because everything that has ever been alive is now a part of our bodies too. And we're constantly flushing it out. So what you let out from air, your waste, all of that is feeding something else that same day. Something else is living from what you just, what your body was just using. And that's going to do the same thing. We're just sharing all this air and all this oxygen and all this water and all this salt and copper and everything else. Like we're all mixed together to such a large degree, even in Berto, it is unbelievable that we're the same person. Like literally, we're the same person, all of us. It's weird. Just think about that for a little bit. And we play God. Like every time you go eat, sit down at a restaurant and you order that steak or you order beef fajitas or the chicken salad, you played God. You were you the one who picked the chicken up and cut its head off. You're the one who slaughtered the cow. You are the one doing those things. You are responsible for life and death with everything you eat. And it is a circle of life. Even the apple. That little kid doesn't realize he's eating that beautiful, juicy apple that you get down, get down there in the orchard. And he's becoming part of that tree. Like that, you don't just go get an apple at Walmart. Like it grows on a tree. You know, our moms and dads used to tell us when we were kids, you are what you eat. Well, well that's a saying for a reason. You are exactly what you eat. So we should be really thankful, grateful for everything that we eat. Whether you're eating a cow, a chicken, an apple, we should say thanks to it. We should be really grateful for everything because something after our body is gone, after our spirit is out of this body, something's eating us. Something's going to live on us. It's pretty interesting. And we are electro electromagnetic field. I love talking about electromagnetic fields because it is outrageously cool. And I can't read it. Most of y'all know what radio frequencies are, right? You know, we've all had a radio. You know what it is? Well, radio frequency can be really harmful, like radiation, where it kills you. Or you can play the symphony, and that same radio wave elevates your spirit. Or you can fine-tune that, that same thing, and all of a sudden it becomes light. All of a sudden you can yell real nasty stuff at your wife, your spouse, your friend, and then it becomes anger. Or you could just say, I love you and hug you. And all of those radio waves, they all do something a little different. When I say F you to Chuck, which I never have, but if I wanted to, that does a, a little bit different sort of radio frequency, but also we can kill each other with radiation. We can blow up the world, all from radio frequencies. It's pretty weird. It's a pretty weird thing how much power we have, and all of those things, our body is producing those electromagnetic fields. Like we have all of this stuff, in, like literally inside of us, and we're all gonna be dust. We're all just gonna be dust, our bodies. But this is another topic for another time, is that energy doesn't die. It just doesn't die. That's pretty fascinating. Just think about that, because all we are is energy. Energy does not die. It cannot die. Now, I like to think about my eighth grade teacher whenever he said we all had cells of dinosaur penis on our forehead because it made me laugh as a kid and it gave me something to think about. You know, that was a good way of that guy of being a little bit uh, over the top by saying that because it st sticks out to a little kid's mind, right? But if you just think about it, that, that elephant there, the other lions and all the beasts, they come over here and then they go right over there and they pee in the somewhere else. And all of a sudden that tree's growing up and then all of a sudden that tree that he just peed on gave some life to it. It's exchanging oxygen with them. We're doing this wild dance everywhere and we don't think about it. Like it's a wild dance that we're doing. The electromagnetic fields when I hug Andrew, all of a sudden we take deep breaths together and it calms our soul. And what are we doing? We're dancing with the trees. We're fixing to eat. And what are we eating? All of that's going to become part of our body. And what were those, what was that pork doing? That pig, what, where was he? And what was he doing? And who was he? I mean, all of those things, all of these things are so interconnected that we just don't contemplate it. But think about this. 
because I'm wrapping up now. Everything that has ever been in the universe has passed through you. Everything. That water, the same water has been on this planet for billions of years and it has been in every living thing, every plant, every animal, every human, every ape, every everything. We are using the exact same water that's in our bodies right now for everything that's ever lived. That is fascinating. All history has is passing through your body at this very moment. All knowledge that has ever been is passing through your body at this very moment. That's just a fact. And it's very fascinating. Every emotion that has ever been Whatever animal that was that was about to get killed in the, in the uh, safari or some snake about to eat a rat or all of these wild emotions, they're going through you right at this very second. They, they all use the exact same water that we experience, that we use, that we drink. It's pretty damn cool to me. And I think if you want to touch that, practice meditating. Just practice. Practice closing your eyes, finding a place sit quietly, whether it's here, whether it's in our dojo, or you come out like so many people do and meditate outside with us or in here. Wow, you can connect to things in meditation that you did not even know existed. And it's wonderful. And if any of that resonates with y'all, come join us on Sundays. We're here every Sunday at 1.15. Andrew is normally cooking and he's awesome. I love y'all. I'm glad to be home. I'm glad to be with y'all. Thanks. See ya.